Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul that truth lies within and today we are here with the 21st day of our Godly blessing. Supreme God Father wants us to become an image of experience. See, spirituality has to be experienced. Just like we take knowledge in our school and college and we get the experience of how to do a job. Then, how to improve ourselves. That's what we learn. Similarly, in spirituality, in Brahma Kumaris, when we get the knowledge of how to keep the mind stable, how to make the right choices, how to perceive what is right, what is wrong, how to find out which will be the right karma, power to face situations, power to face our past karmas and face them and improve upon them. Because what we have done in the past is going to come back to us, right? So we have to face that also. We have to face people with whom we have said certain things bad and then we have to face them also. But we still have to have the power to still imbibe values and virtues so that we don't create a negative karma again. So that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. That is the complete mechanism of how to live your life, a lifestyle. So here too, Baba wants us to become an image of experience of using the powers of the soul. That means of the mind and intellect and using the 36 different virtues which are there in a soul, which many of the people in the world in Kali Yuga or the Iron Age are lacking. That's why it's known as Kali Yuga or Hell on Earth. So let's see what does Baba want us to do. Baba says, may you be an image of experience who has experienced every power and virtue through your elevated effort. The explanation goes like this. The greatest authority is experience in anything, whether it's financial experience, whether it's related to health, whether it's your profession, whether you're a medical officer, whether you're a lawyer, whether you are a consultant, your experience is what is going to take you ahead in life, right? That's how you can share it with others and help others to improve their life. Just as you think and say the soul is an embodiment of peace and an embodiment of happiness. Soul is an embodiment of peace. We are originally peaceful, but we forget that we are souls. We become body conscious and peacelessness comes. That means number of thoughts increase. Soul consciousness means number of thoughts decrease. So then God says, we are an embodiment of peace and an embodiment of happiness. In the same way, experience every virtue and power and become lost in those experiences. Now those virtues and powers will come in us when we know about the three aspects of time. The past, why it was like that, thousands of years of history of the past, what, when, where present what is the situation right now where it's going to lead us to into future what is the future of the world what is the future of humanity and where are we going towards so when we know all this from the director it's himself supreme god father is a director generator operator is a destroyer god god so when we know what is his, his plan then obviously we get the power we also get the virtues that we can imbibe so that we are stable in our mind with the knowledge which we have received from Father. Then God says, when you say embodiment of peace, then being that form, let yourself and others experience peace. So it's not just about talking that soul is peaceful. It's about using the knowledge, using the values and virtues at the right time so as to maintain the peace in your mind so that other people can also feel peaceful. They can also realize that, yes, decisions can be taken in peace and without any haste or without any irritation or without using anger. God then says, you speak of the powers, but let that power and virtue be experienced at the right time. Now, there are eight powers, main powers, then there are many more powers. Just like if you're not able to stop your thoughts, situation arises, you think, I wish this person didn't say this. That's why this has happened. If he wouldn't have done something like that, if she wouldn't have taken that step, if we wouldn't have gone over there, pass, 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 pass. That means we are not able to put a full stop to the past thoughts. But now, if I know what to put a full stop at, when to put a full stop at, otherwise it can lead to depression, going to the past, and then put a break to the thoughts and then turn the thoughts in the right direction. That is a mechanism. That is a method. Now, virtues and powers are tools, just like a mechanic has different tools to repair a bike or repair a car. Here too, these are tools given by Supreme Godfather to us. 
and we use these tools of power and virtues so as to make the mind stable, intellect stable in any situation given. So then God says, when you say embodiment of peace, then being that form, let yourself and others experience peace. You speak of the powers, but let that power and virtue be experienced at the right time. For that, the experience, the more experience we get, a situation arises, you take one minute, you react in a negative way for one minute and then you realize, oh no, I am supposed to put a full stop. I should use the power to tolerate, use the power to discern, then judge and then take a decision. You took one minute doing that. Maybe before this knowledge, the seven day course of knowledge, you might have taken 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour to stop your thoughts. But now as you start meditating, you're more aware of your thoughts and then you take just instead of 30 minutes, you take 15 minutes. You keep on reducing that time period with the power of meditation. You come to five minutes, then it just takes one minute for you after a couple of years, a few months, you just take one minute to put a full stop to negativity. Going in the past, you use the knowledge and bring your thoughts at peace instantly. So it's a practice over a period of years. So when God says, it has to be experienced at the right time. To be an image of experience is a sign of elevated effort. How fast you can put a full stop, how fast you can use those powers is defining the way you're doing an effort, even in spirituality, for your own peace of mind. So increase your experiences. That's what God wants us to do. Not just listen to the knowledge and just take it out from the ear. It sounds good but to imbibe it and to use it at the right time. How do you do that? You can learn it at Brahma Kumaris with a seven day course as the first steps, baby steps, and then further knowledge is required for that same. With this, Om Shanti.